Hello everyone. Welcome back to ERD Stitches YouTube channel. Today in our tutorial, we're going to learn how to make this beautiful ball dress. Actually, we have done the story of how to cut it. So what we are going to do today is to learn how to sew this and also how to achieve the neat finishing inside because the inside you will not be seeing the seam allowance of this gun inside so we are going to learn how to achieve the sewing today if you have not watched the video of the cutting please try to watch the video of the cutting first before you can be able to watch the video of this sewing so that you understand how we achieve this i will be i will put the link of the cutting video on the description section so that you can be able to watch it now we will start from the sewing of our two this is our two net i'm going to teach to show you how to sew it and also how to attach it to the how to sew it to the lining that's where we are going to start from first before we move to other ones till we get to the end So, if you are stopping by to my channel for the first time, please try to subscribe to my channel and share this video so that others will benefit from it. I feel if you are an old subscriber, thank you very much. I really appreciate you guys. Now we are done gathering it. This is one, and this is uh, the second one. Then I'm just, I'm just trying to put the two together. This is what we have now for the two. So what I'm going to do now is that remember our uh, door face fabrics that we cut as lining. We have one short, short and one long. So this is the longer one now. So I'm going to sew this, our net on it. So I'm going to put it, arrange it this way. And so this is the front of the lining, the front of the door face. This is the front. So the front is facing up. Then I put my net on it. I put the two nets together. And so that's what I'm going to do now. We sew it on my lining. So I've sewn the net to the door face fabric. This is what I have. Remember, our net is longer than our office so this is what we have now so the next thing i'm going to do now is to also guard as uh, so the net on the net on the strips of net that we gathered i'm going to sew it on the full circle net that we cut out okay i'm done doing the gather actually I did, this is two that I gathered here, and I gathered uh, four on this one. So what I'm going to do now is I will bring this my net flay. So the shorter one, which is the two that I gathered, I'm going to sew it. I'm going to sew. I put it here, arrange it very well, and sew it round on this my radius this shorter one so the longer one i'm going to sew it somewhere here this way and also this way that's this one so there's something i forgot to tell you people this net i remember i cut four inches is because it's for a little baby if it's a bigger child it will not be four inches so you will measure what you have as the length of this here net and now know how many inches. remember this my net is 12 inches and i cut 4 inches 8 inches by the time i put here and put somewhere here i will still have space here down there so that it will not be um, touching the skin of the child you know that this is very harsh okay you can see i'm done attaching my strips of net to the flayed net so this is what i have now 
So the next thing I'm going to do now is uh, remember that our shorter lining, the inner lining that is short, we are going to bring it now and lay it on our table this way. This is the back side of the lining facing us now. So I will also bring the net. This is the right side of my net. This place I attach the strips are the right side of my net. It's the right side of my net. So what it means now is the wrong side of my net will face the wrong side of the lining. So I have to put it on it this way and sew and sew it together that's what we are going to do now see everything aligned together have you seen it so and you can see it the lining is longer than the net i told you you have to make the shorter lining to be longer than the net so i'm going to sew this way now so the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to turn my fabrics to the right side like this is on the, on the right side now i will bring my back i'll put it this way and so and also put this one there and so the shoulder i'm joining the shoulders together i will sew with my seam allowance half inch seam allowance i will also do the same thing on my fabrics okay uh you can see i'm done joining the shoulder on the fabric and also on my lining i've also ironed it this is my zipper allowance so what i'm going to do now so I will now, this is the right side of my fabric. I'm going to also put the right side of my lining to face the right side of my fabric. So you, you have to make sure that this year joining joint shoulder match each other. Right? So you can see as I ironed it, I open up the seam area. You see it? I opened it up. So I did the same on this side also. So you have to make sure that the both of them align together. Then you use your pin to pin it down this way. See, you will also do same on this side. Make sure that your seam allowance is open. You also use your pin and pin it down this way so this is it you see it so i have to i will also pin down this area i will also you see my my see the notch on my this thing and uh, the notch on my on my fabric and my lining they align together so i will pin everything down then i will sew it with my half inch sewing allowance i will stop at this my notch point i'm not going to sew the zipper allowance my sewing will start from this zipper allowance point this way and stop on this one. Then I will also put the armhole together this way and also sew it this way. I will also do same on this side. I will also sew the armhole this way. Okay, I'm done uh, sewing the neckline and also the armhole. So now I'm going to give it a notch. I have to be very careful because of the color. I will notch all. So I'm done notching it now. So the, what I will do now, I'll put my hand this way to turn it to the right side. I'll try to, <laughs> this space is too small, but I'll try. Put your hand this way and bring this side to the right side this way. I'll do same here. I'll 
try and bring it out. Okay, this is what we have now. So I'm going to give it a very hot press now. This for the back. This is the armor. I'm going to give it a very hot press now. So this is it. Okay, I'm done ironing it. Let's look at it. It's very relaxed now. Have you seen it? So relaxed. So what I'm going to do now is to join the sides. So this is my side and this is my side. So I'm going to bring my two sides this way. Put it together. Make sure that the seam line is matching to the other. Then put it this way and sew with the seam allowance that we added. Remember when we are drafting the base, the pattern for this, I added two inches seam allowance. So I'm going to sew with that two inches this way. I will also bring this side together this way. The, the fabric is together with the fabric while the lining is with the lining. So I will sew it with the two inches. So I'm done shaping it. And look at this side also. I'm done shaping it. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I will turn it. See the way it's I just do it this way. And you see it. This is our armhole. It has fun. This is the second armhole. So this is it now. So I will also iron it. So by the time I'm done ironing it, now what I will do now is I will open only the right side. See this, I picked only my right side, that's the fabrics. Then I will bring my net. This is the right side of my net and this place I have this door face is the wrong side. So I will put my net on it this way. You see the net is facing me and also the neckline is towards me. I'll just put it this way and so you see it everything aligned together and so so by the time I finish sewing it I will show you what it look like only on the fabrics. Okay, I'm done joining our net to, on, to our fabrics, only the fabric. See the lining is on its own. So I've joined it. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to bring our net now. So this is our net now. Remember the net that we have already joined to the, our lining. So. This is the front of this lining and this is the back. Please, whenever you are sewing, remember to open your seam line this way and sew. So, now, this is our front. I said this is the front of our lining now. And this, uh, is, uh, this is the net side and this is the lining side. So, this lining side, we face this lining now. So, what I will do is that I will put it here, this way. Lining facing lining, and we arrange it this way, and so that's what I'm going to do now on my machine. And so, see it. Okay, I'm done attaching the hard net to the lining. So now we just turn it, flip it over this way. This is our neckline now. So this is how the inside is. So all this place I will whip it by the time I'm done so that it will be very neat. So this is the our inside now. The hard see the hard net is in between the first lining and the second lining. So what I'm going to do next now is to 
this my uh, the one this net that I attach to the fabric. I'm going to work on it now. I'll turn it this way. So for me to fix my zipper now, I have to decide where I want my zipper to stop. So from this my half length here joining here, I'm going to take uh, four inches. So this is my phone. You can take more more than four inches depending on the length of the zipper you are using. So from this four inches point now, I'm going to bring this side together. I'll match the two half length together. Make sure that it's joining together. Then I will shift turn my lining. Remember, I'm not working with this. I'm working with this now. I'm, I'm, I'll turn my lining this way. I'll also turn this lining this way. So I'm going to sew only the net, only the two nets from this four inches now i will sew with my zipper allowance down okay i'm done sewing the net only the net is what i close and say it's only the net so now i'm going to attach my zip and i'm, I'm attaching only on this fabrics not on my lining i'm picking only my fabrics this way so i'm going oh, this this is an invisible zip i'm going to attach so i'm going I, i'm not starting from here to attach my zipper because i want to give it a love shape design up here first so i'm going to start like from three inches here and so and attach to this point so I'm, i've put my zip and i'm going to work with my zip allowance so what I will do now is that on my zip allowance side now, I will just put my zip on it this way and use my pin. This is my zip allowance. Use my pin to hold it down. So I will pin it down to this point. For this, I will sew. I will also do the same thing on this side. And so only on this tool and on this lace. Okay, I'm done pinning my zip. You can see my, my pinning stopped at where my zipper is going to stop, where my opening started. And when I got to my waistline here, I picked my lining. I pin it together with my two nets. So I pinned the two sides. So I'm going to now sew. I will sew the two sides. I'm working only on this fabric. I'm not working on this net. So now I'm going to sew this one. You see, the front of my zip is facing the right side of my fabrics. This is the right, right side of it. So this is the back of my zipper. This is the place that will be inside. So now I'm going to sew it down to where my zipper will stop and also sew this down to this place. My lining is still open this place. I'm not sewing it down. My lining will stay open to where this point. Okay, I'm done attaching the zip. This is where my zip stops. Like I said, I'm putting a lot of design this side. So, I've also sewed this side. So, the next thing I'm going to do now, we're going to close this uh, seam allowance and we're using our lining to close it this is our lining and this is the front of our lining while this is the front of our fabrics so i'm going to turn it this way the front of the lining will be facing the front of the fabrics so this is the shoulder that we didn't finish sewing remember we were showing our neckline we didn't sew the zip allowance so we are going to finish up the zipper allowance now then i'll close it this way so when you are sewing, you have to make sure you are not sewing on your zip, but you sew close to. I'm going to match my half length to my half length this way. So as you take, so you use your hand to be feeling where your zipper teeth is, so that you will not sew on top of it. Then you will now sew till where our zip stops. That's somewhere here. That's where we will stop. Where our zip stop. That's where we stop. 
But before that, I'm going to, because I said I'm putting a lot of design, so I'm going to arrange here very well now. This is my zipper allowance, so my design have to be this way. So what I'm going to do now is, this is the pattern of the love shape I want to put. And this is where my zip stops. I can feel it now. That means my love shape has to start from here. So I'm going to use my needle and thread now to pin it down here. And I will trace it this way to this way. What it means is that when I'm sewing this uh, show, um, neckline now, I will sew this way. I will come down here. Then from here, I will go this way, this way this way, then I will continue sewing down. Okay, I'm done sewing my lining and this is, and this is my love shape now. I put hook here so that you see the love shape it has formed. So this is my lining. So what I will do here now is I will Collect only my lining, only my lining with the net. I will take it this way and sew down. I will also pick this my lining also from this point also. I will sew it down. Okay, I'm done turning the lining. This is what I have now. This is what the inside look like now. We are done with the sewing, and this is what our inside look like now. See, you see it. Look at it back. All the seam allowance are hidden. All the seam allowance are hidden. You cannot see any seam allowance inside. That is the neat finishing that we talked about. And you can see the shape, the love shape I have put at the back. I have put my my hook and line. There, you see it, everything, everything hidden. So I'm going to give it a hot press now and deliver to my customer. So, and this is the front of our, of our ball dress. So this brings us to the end of this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe like and share this video share this video so that others can benefit bye see you in the next tutorial